buttons circled on your screen so you know who you're watching here. And then, uh... It still doesn't do it. Because that's the end of the thing. Uh, left click, or right click on it for properties. On the, uh, video part. That's that one, properties. Uh, loop it. See if that'll get us going if I, we ever play it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, ideally, I don't want it looped, but because I want it to stop, I've got a cut where he's holding his knee. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So we wouldn't want it to, see, because it'll stop there so we can talk about it. Yeah. So yeah, but see, I pulled that out, spliced it, time stretched to that part of it. Yeah, I like it, I like so, it. So, all right, so now then, of course, if nothing else, I'll chalk it up to technical difficulties and just talk for a couple seconds while I redo that. Right. All right, so. So we got it encircled on your screen. Now if you'll watch here, we're going to roll into the action. You're going to see a move. We're we'll slow it down here as his knee wraps around Sam Duvall on the ground. And he comes up holding his knee. Unfortunately, Abe had to be helped off the field last week towards ACL. And that, sadly, will probably end his senior season as well as his wrestling season before it ever started. Yeah. And then, of course, I'll have Corny Boy on with me. Probably, hopefully, if he gets here. Should. So, it's pretty happy. I hate it. I did that on iMovie because I had my MacBook there, or I had my, my iMac, and I don't. I'm so used to working in Vegas, I'm like, I know how to do all this in Vegas, like, right now. By the way, I don't know if it's in again, if you need audio, um, they've got uh, another Magic's bundle on Humble Bundle, 25 bucks, gets you all the way up to Sound Forge and Acid Loops. Okay, good to know. So I, I keep checking on those every now and then. It's yeah, really... I've actually gotten signed up for the newsletter, so when Magic stuff drops, yeah. I'm mad at myself because I got uh, Vegas Pro 14 yeah. a couple years ago when I told right, you about Right, yeah, I got that, yeah. Well, then last year, I think it was, they did a Vegas Pro 15 bundle. I'm like, I don't need it. And I was like, I should have just bought that. $25 yeah. Vegas Pro 15. Matter of fact, because I could have done that, uninstalled 14, installed 15, and then had a 14 license later on, too. Yeah. Stupidity. Anyway, I think we're fully set. So we've got, you know, half an hour. Sweet. Almost. Sweet, sweet. So, um, I've got you probably between 30 and 40, and then scoreboard's on the roof today. So, I don't know if you want to just kind of keep an eye on that. Okay. Cool. And, uh, How's life? Doing pretty good. How's life for you? Pretty good. Yeah. Do you uh, do contract work for uh, graphics in the Not yet. Okay. I need. I don't know if you've watched any of my videos. My intro is super basic, and I'm like, I'd like to do something better, but I don't even know what I think that I want though. Well, if you have any kind of ideas or something like that, shoot me an idea. I think it'd be fun to play around with something like that. Okay. Heck, if you have anything, like, hey, this would look good. I mean, I've got to start. Well, I found I learned today. See, I, I uh, the control resize in, yeah. in Vegas only gets you up to four times scrub. I didn't realize that you can also there's a, an envelope you can drop in. Yeah. You can get up to twelve times without a re-render. Like, uh, from a time lapse stuff. I've been watching a lot of Alex Steele stuff. Yeah. And uh, so watching it like he does his montage is crazy. Because I'm probably gonna do a video, but it won't go up on YouTube. When I assemble my new slide and stuff for my carry pistol, I'm probably gonna do a little video on that. Right. But that I'm gonna put up on Gunstreamer because YouTube will just lose So scary. Just looking at a picture of it because I'm crushing it. Apparently. And I need a second camera. You know what I'm saying? The HD camera is relatively expensive. Not off the top of my head. Because if you did, you tell Scott, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pick it up myself at that point. Honestly, I'd like one of them, like the black ones that we use. The small ones or the mid grade ones? Because we got two small black cameras that we use. Actually, three, but you guys don't know about the other one. The one that we use is our primary when we start. So, try the mid grade. Yes. Those aren't too bad. I like no, them. I like those because of the extended battery pack. See, that's the problem I have with my. Uh, I have a can of Vixia. It's not terrible as far as image fidelity and stuff. Um, but the battery goes in underneath, and the battery door takes up like two thirds of the bottom of the camcorder. So when you've got it on, there's no way to do an extended battery. Right. So, and I'm doing good to get 45 minutes out of it. Yeah. So, 
did come up with a trick though. You got a battery booster pack, you got like a car. Yeah. Has a 12 volt output. Yeah. You got a 120, either a 90 or 120 watt in power converter. Mm -hmm. It's like 12 hours of battery. <laughs> like I could probably run this. Were we supposed to get um, mains cables for these or was, was there something wrong with those stuff? There was something wrong that we, we couldn't figure out what we were getting wrong with them because every time we would use them, we'd catch like some kind of Wax static hum every time we play it back. I've Even with the ad signals? Even, yeah. Or ads Yeah. Because they told us at the summer producers meeting, you were off covering a, a, a parade you didn't want to cover. Yeah, that's what I was for. So, but yeah, they said that was all cleared up. Yeah, okay. but apparently, you know, we did last minute testing on it and it would, just didn't come out with anything it likes. So we are just like, let's stick to batteries for now in case and if we can find something else, that'll work just as fine. We'll find something else. So. Except when some idiot leaves the uh, Asden box, Asden box on overnight after a soccer game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe I should check uh, and see what. I'm sure the predictions for the night are ugly. I didn't see any precipitation on the weather. No, 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 no. You're talking about for the game. Oh, for the game. Yeah, probably. But the flip side is any predictions they made were off of Thomas 2018. Right. So, that said, we lost Kane Chainlaw today. He, he broke his arm in school today. Oh. Just screwing around the weight room trying to do a muscle up. He can't slip. I am. No plan. Well, at least we have more players this year because that happening, both Duquesne and Aiden would have sent us on the bench for the rest of the season. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And then we have uh, Isaac Plummer. He screwed up his shoulder. So he's out. It's just, yeah. Just because we have players doesn't mean we got to keep getting them in. Right. Let's see John somebody else next week and uh, she came into the press box 
bike if Luke's getting killed, man. And then we got going, and we went to commercial. She's like, this is really fun. I like this. I'm like, I told you football was so much better. I just, not a soccer guy. I, I can't. I try. Luke, Luke told me, he said, watch Premier League. Yeah. So I pulled up Premier League highlights. Yeah. Just the highlights. Six minutes, eight minutes of an 80 minute game. What a step out yeah, I get you. I've only done a handful of soccer games in my career, and it's said I can't do it. Both, both times. Were, softball, baseball. Yeah, no, can't do that either. Like, straight, dude, you gotta find the team. For one thing, the, the way that the spring sports schedule goes, of course, as it is, I've had to jump through crazy hoops trying to get done with practice early and stuff. Luckily, we're only because you'll be doing the producing and stuff. You won't want to focus on it. As hard as that is, right? I guess I should check. Do we have more? Do we have new ads? I forgot to check that today. Usually Steve's really good about saying, hey, you got new ads. As far as I know, I wouldn't think, because I'm the guy who makes the ads. So. Like, so everything right now is ISHA or an RCC? Yes. Okay. For the most part, as far as I know, unless something was sold and I didn't, no one told me about it, which is rare. Oh, no. I think they have 422 block. Oh, no, that's right. JC's got to set up on an oddball port number. They've probably got all non typical ports blocked. Yeah, we're, we're not getting out. Unless I tether to my phone, it's just not worth it. Like I said, Strix usually really good about saying, hey, pull your new ads. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then to add to it, I don't know what happened last Thursday with pointing to an outro file that didn't exist anymore. So I went to roll the outro after the soccer game. Dead air. I was like, jeez. Sanchez was going to come up and give me an interview, but then it turned out to be a JV game, so I yeah. couldn't. And it was just... Uh, yeah, I've actually... I have... I have footage from inside the press box um, from that broadcast. Let me see if I can, see if I can get this one. Okay. Inside the press box. <laughs> that is, by the way, Shane Creek. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had paddles. They caught on fire, too. Right. Just put this fire over here with all the fire. <laughs> So I'll just say I approved it on site. So if you got anyone to yell, I just yell. Uh, I skipped shoulder day this week, but I think I'd still carry it. They're for Steve. Steve was pretty pissed off at me last week. I've been so busy with work. Yeah. I haven't been able. You know, I haven't been able to learn before we look ahead. I, I misunderstood. I haven't looked at it, and I didn't fill anything out. Like, okay, I know what's coming up. Because yeah. in the past, it was. Did it. Right. The assumption was it's on there, you'll cover it. Right, now we got yeah. it where we yeah. need to know ahead of time that you right. do it. Right. Speaking of, next week, I can. See, they've got me down. This, this is where I've got myself spread so thin because I'm 
also got concessions. I'm, my sports are supposed to have concessions next uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So now Tuesday is following home, so that's something that we need to get up there and readjust the camera. I probably got to hit my wall or something because Steve said it was off there. Yeah. But, uh, up there now for that stuff so we got a good chunk of will and the kids that's what we do the stuff well and we have we have an advanced student media class going now that's doing like our in-house announcements and stuff so i may i may pop in there and say hey are you guys interested in actual like sports casting yeah. or even if it's not sports casting no it's more interesting see because valley right now goes live Tuesdays and Thursdays at like 9.30ish and does like a little spiel. That kind of thing would be like if they're doing announcements, they could go live in the morning and cast in and spew out morning announcements on their television channel. Which That's is something we thought about. True. And then with this, I have the MP4 file that they don't have to edit. We just put that in our uh, shared folder on the Google Drive and thought, oh, then everybody's got it. Right. I will bounce that off of uh, Nikki and see what she thinks of that. She has no time to hit the head. I'm going to crown in the crow's nest and see what's, how it looks. Have fun. Uh, yeah, you've got that much leeway with the uh, with the scoreboard camp. Gotcha. So.
Hey, he sent me a text. He said he'd be here in a few. I don't know how few. Can we get Aubrey to come back up here? Not at this point. I'm not the one who scheduled Alex. That was uh, my boss. But he said, my boss told me Alex did a really good job at a volleyball game the other day, so. And there's no question that Alex knows the sport a lot better than I do. Which doesn't take a whole lot. Your average kindergartner probably knows this sport better than I do. Represent Alex. Oh my god, they kept you around too. What'd it do? Alright, we are live in eight minutes, brother. Okay. So, got your headset over there. Got you. Color or? I will do color because you, I'm sure you know this sport better than I do. I will say, uh, I will be responsible for saying all the stupid things. <laughs> and uh, hey, if you want to preview what I'm going to open with. So, I went to last week's game and uh, Zayden blew out his ACL. So we got Aiden here circled in red. And uh, so it looks like when he, he hit into that heat. Oh yeah. He blew out his right ACL there and see him move his knee. So I thought we'd just open up the broadcast because we're gonna have probably a couple minutes uh, before we go actually get into the game. So I thought uh, we put that up and I can just leave this up. We've got live headset volume right now. So sure. Um, we gonna get that window clean. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's awful, isn't it? Yeah, that's not even the inside one. Oh, that doesn't lift out. This is my first time here at Judson Field, but... This is my first time in their press box. Of course, they... Well, they don't get pressed. <laughs> uh, it does like... There's no such thing as a great press box for live broadcast. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm just glad I've been at them where I had to step out here. Yeah, we got we pretty see good. there, we can kind of lean this way, yeah. we can see, the one thing we can't really see is the scoreboard, but we do have it up on the screen, yep. so, and usually the only thing I use the scoreboard for is confirming the ball spot. Yeah. So other than that, how's it been going for you? Smoothly? Oh, no, it's crazy, crazy summer. I've placed in the whole network, and then, uh, oh, really? yeah, I've placed every access, well, actually, the only thing that remains from last year in our network is the cabling itself. <laughs> we replaced all our switches, we replaced wow. all our access points. That sounds like a lot of physical labor. Yeah, that was, that was ridiculous. And then I, I, I put up some new access points. Like, we got a mounted access point in our express box and all, things like that. But there was more than once. I was like, I would about kill to have a $7 an hour intern pulling this kid out. So, uh, who are some of these new kids? Old father. Um, okay, old father. He's he's been there. He was just he was always a cross country runner. He came in as a kicker. Um, Navin Jones transfer in. Tyler Brown, ninth grader, Hickel, Gearhart, Shape, Tim Lee transfer in. Greg Brawl transfer in, and he had some massive tackles last year. Oh yeah, I I caught caught like the fourth quarter last week. Yeah, I saw yeah. him running around. There was one in like the first quarter. He jumps up. I swear he had Stone Cold Stone into the kid. <laughs> How was that legal? We got uh, McGrew's daughter here. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, she's five seven. No, no, no. Five six. Five 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 six. Yeah. Yeah. Braden Dub. New kid. Plumber has blown out his shoulder. Okay. I noticed when I was driving in quite a few uh, guys in jerseys and not in pads. Yeah, he, uh, well, and then Kane broke his arm at his school. Shane? Shane Locke. Oh. Screwed around in the weight room trying to do a muscle up his hands. Like, so I imagine he's probably done the whole season. Oh, right? I'm sure. I'm sure. And Tell of course, me. their rosters. Welcome oh, yeah. to beautiful Huge. North Justin Champier High School in Liberty Field. Home of the North Justin Sandier Blue Jays. Yeah. You typically stand. You typically stand. A lot of times I end up standing. Uh, I'll sit for Morgan some time. Obviously, when I'm at the front of the computer. Are you help? But athletic trainer Dan Morton. Are you help is a proud partner with MJS. Man, I should have got a few with quality care. Okay. 
Hey, be sure to get your get sandwiches up there. Some water. Water. Sweet cow will have water. water. And they are and one four dollar. minutes to live. I don't think we got the winner will be announced at the end of the That's third okay. quarter. Fans from both schools. We look forward right, to yeah, we're gonna have four minutes area. after we roll okay, the intro. I guess I better be ready to go in the intro. Come visit our main concession stand. Keep for an hot eye out. So you gonna roll that first before I say anything, or you want me to say? Well, we got the Finally, channel intro. I gotta roll. We'll come in. I'm gonna go over the broadcast. I'll introduce you. We'll talk a little bit. And I'm gonna say that we're gonna take a look at you know, what happened last week. So they'll have those great. Three minutes. Fresh donut. Of course, usually my clock ends up a minute behind there. Children are to be under the supervision of yeah. So we're in Central Park right now. Right? Yes, we are. Okay, I was just coming into town and my phone didn't switch over, and I was like, uh oh, am I half an hour late? No, my, mine hasn't either. <laughs> okay. Because here's what time I thought it was when I was yes. pulling in. I was like, oh, the game started an hour ago. <laughs> I'm just glad we got somebody up top swinging the camera. So I had to run the production, do some commentary, and swing the camera last night for soccer. Oh, man. And I don't know soccer anyway, but I had yeah. Jake Passion up there with me. Okay. He played soccer. Two minutes. My ears were hurting so bad last night. Oh, and it was so windy. So we were up on top of the press box. Yeah. I like drug, you know the bleacher tables? Yeah. Drug one of those through the top of the press box. So the wind was just howling in our microphones. I'm like, I bet that sounds terrible. I did um, North Miami volleyball a couple nights ago with uh, with Steve. So. Yeah, yeah. Steve said you did a good job with that. For not knowing anything about volleyball, I felt like I did okay. Oh, well, what I know about volleyball would fill a thimble with room left over. <laughs> Alright, Dakota, I don't know if you got your ears on, but just remember, I know that we're not at LaVille, we are at uh, North Judson, but remember, I will call you out if the huddle breaks and you still have the camera on the cheerleaders. I did a dunk with <laughs> it to you. will be going live soon. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you please rise, kindly of remove your hat, as we honor America with the plane of our national anthem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 Cast and TV broadcast. As your cast and comments, visit the North Judson Blue Jays here at Liberty Field in North Judson. I'm Blair Zimmerman, being joined tonight by Alex Corner on the other headset. Alex, how you doing? Doing okay, Blair. How about you? Oh, I'm doing all right. We, uh, we made it, and I'm excited <laughs> for some football this evening. Yeah. So um, the comments have had a little bit of a rough week, Alex. Yeah, uh, they lost... Aiden Sarver last week they due did. to injury. Um, the status is uh, he tore his ACL, correct? Tore his ACL, yeah. As a matter of fact, um, if uh, you guys missed that at home, 
Um, I'm going to pull up a little clip of that. You see Aiden on your screen there, circled in red. Mm -hmm. And if you will keep your eye on him, I'll set this in motion here. And you're going to see he went in for this tackle to assist on this tackle. And his knee looks like it wraps around. I think that's Sam Duvall down on the ground. Mm. And uh, then you see him holding that knee. Yep. Just a terrible injury. And yep. it's a terrible injury anytime. Yep. But it always breaks my heart to see a senior's yep. season end yep. early. Um, we had uh, Chris Smith last year went out with a torn ACL yep. uh, during the Winnemac game. And it seems like uh, it might be becoming a curse of the Comets well. to have a senior injured with a torn ACL. Yep. But that's not on, been the only injury here in the past week from oh, what I hear. Oh, no, absolutely not. Um, Isaac Plummer told me the other day at school, he said that uh, he's messed something up in his elbow, or in his elbow, his shoulder, the the, the rotating elbow up in the top. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> and I think he's out for the season. Mm. And then the rumor through the halls of the school today is that freshman Kane Shanelob uh, may have broken his arm mm -hmm. today. And so that status remains to be seen. That is absolutely mm -hmm. unofficial, but yep. I do know that he is not wearing pads this evening. So yep. uh, he might get lucky, and maybe that was just a badly sprained mm -hmm. something or other. But And, of course, with the roster size of Castens, you just can't afford it. I mean, not, not that anyone can afford an injury, but well, abso you know, absolutely not. Although, I mean, it's once again, Last year, that mm -hmm. would have been the end of the Comet season yep. to lose two yep. people yep. or three people. Yep. Um, so this season, we do have a little bit more depth of numbers. Yep. Aubrey and I talked uh, last week, and you said you caught some of the broadcast. Yep. We've got – not only do we have a lot of freshmen yep. and athletic freshmen, yep. guys like Landon Schaefer, who's gone into the quarterback role and just – Yep. I, he's young, but he's owning that position. Um, but then we've got newcomers to – the corporation. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Greg Brault. I'm going to miss some of these guys. Tim Lee, uh, Dawson Tenen, uh, Braden Duff. Oh, uh, I, I know. I'm missing some of mm -hmm. these. Uh, Navin Jones. Yep. These guys have come in, and, and we've got – it's not just football either. I know I've seen some of these new faces out on the soccer pitch. Mm -hmm. Just an, an infusion of athletic talent yep. and something badly needed. Yep. Um, because uh, something all of us coaches and extracurricular coordinators, mm -hmm. we talk about all the time, the same couple dozen, three dozen kids who are active in anything, they're they're the ones who are active year-round yep. in everything. Yep. And not just athletics, but, but student councils and drama clubs yep. and things like that. And it just gets to be such a tight thing. These kids stretch themselves really thin. Yep. We've got two sports single-season athletes even. Yep. Um, and so not only then are they out of one sport, they're out of two in the same season. Yep. And a lot of times these athletes, they're counted on mm -hmm. by coaches of both sports. Yep. So, and, um, uh, and, of course, you mentioned an athlete for Caston, and you have to mention Sam Smith. He's okay. a very dynamic young man. Um, as we have the teams taking the field here, um, Sam Smith is good about every sport he's in. Oh, he's absolutely. The guy on the field. Um, of course, being a freshman last year, he's a little timid, a little, you know, getting into the swing of things. But this year, I look to him to have a, a real breakout season. Oh, absolutely. A lot of plays last week found their way through Sam Smith. Yep, yep. Um, but there again, it's not just that young blood. We've got some of these uh, old guard guys yep. like Gavin Hickel. Yep. He's still, when we run the wedge, he's still the point of the wedge. Yep, yep. And um, you still got Sam Duvall up front. Oh, yeah. And, you know, if you look down through uh, the weights on the rosters, too, um, you're, you'll see that a lot of these guys have trimmed down a little bit from yep. last year. And they really, it's given them that edge. It's hard to believe that the coaches would have known what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> we told them all last season in all of their sports, yep. just trim down a little bit, just yep. trim down a little bit. And I'm going to tell you what, at the scrimmage, oh, which we didn't broadcast, uh, I watched, um, oh, I'm drawing a brain fart, Dylan Gearhart. I watched mm -hmm. Dylan Gearhart chase a kid down and Good. tackle him and i was like where'd yeah. this come from so and uh that can't do anything but help him even mm -hmm. during wrestling season yep. as he gets into a weight class where i think he'll be a lot more competitive yep. so as now you see we're getting ready for the uh coin flip and the handshake um so back in my day here at Caston football we never played judson of course okay. it was a different conference um this is my first time here at judson field what I know of Judson is that they used to be the big bad guys in the area, and everyone was, you know, we don't want to play Judson. We don't <laughs> want to play Judson. Um, my uncle played for one of the first cast and football teams, and he showed me his results from his senior year. Judson 
put up 70 points in a beating over Caston, 70 to zero. Wow. Um, hopefully that's not the result of tonight's game, but that's not what what's forecasted. I had a chance to look at uh, John Harrell and that crew, that guy. Yeah. I don't know. It's always amazing how close they can get. <laughs> they are they are forecasting, unfortunately, mm -hmm. a Comets defeat tonight. Uh, but they it's a uh, 30 point spread is what they're mm -hmm. forecasting. Um, but the question is, how much of that is based off of last year's comments? Right, yeah. Um, because we've got most of that crew, mm -hmm. and we've gotten all this new blood, yep. fresh eighth graders coming in. And so I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Yep. Hopefully uh, maybe we'll get out to a little bit of an early lead. Maybe yeah. Judson hasn't done their homework. Yep. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, last week with West Central, it really kind of looked like that's how the game started. Mm -hmm. West Central was not prepared for the athleticism yep. that the Comets were able and to. The, and the new bring. dynamic spread offense that you're seeing oh, from the Comets. Absolutely, yeah. For the first time in what 20, 30 years, we're not <laughs> yeah. running a wing tee. Yep, so, yep. Uh, not that we, not that we can't fall back to that. Yep. But that's not what we're running now. And I think uh, it really fits the mm -hmm. the group that we have. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got a young athletic quarterback in Landon and you put Sam Smith right next to him in the backfield, you're going to have some magic no matter what what's around him. Right. Um, and, of course, if you looked at the uh, total points that each of these teams have scored, Kasten put up, what, 31 last week? And I yep. think Judson won 27-24 in a comeback win over Culver. That sounds right. Um, so Kasten's definitely uh, putting up some points so far this season. Right, right. Uh, uh, I'm, I, I don't want to dog on the guys. Mm -hmm. I, I said it every game last year. I was proud of how the guys stuck in. Every season, but I think we saw more Comets touchdowns last Friday than we did all oh, of last yep, season. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that might not exactly be true. So, parents, fans, football players, when you watch this, please don't <laughs> tackle me into nothingness in the hallways. I love you guys. Uh, but it was just an awesome game last week, and that's what I'm trying to highlight. Yep, yep. Um. <laughs> Oh, heads up. Wow, we almost got a shirt out of the shirt cannon yeah. in the press box. Might have to close that window. <laughs> oh, it'll get stuffy in here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting ready for opening kickoff. Looks like Kasten uh, is set to receive. Um, I missed who won the coin toss. Did you? I, I saw uh, Judson cheering, so I think that <laughs> I'm pretty sure they won and opted to defer maybe. Yeah. It might suit Caston better to be on offense, given the amount of points they scored. Maybe it'll help help him settle into the game. Could be. Uh, of course, the big question mark is Aiden brings a lot of energy oh, to yeah. the line. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, you want a crazy weight training session, lift with Aiden in yep. there. And uh, I wonder how that's going to change the team dynamic, him right. just not being in there and ready to. And missing that senior experience on the offensive line. Oh, absolutely. Brock Wolf with the. We got a flag on the play. Looks like a holding, maybe. Yep, holding on the Comets. That'll push them back 10 yards. Not the way you want to start nope. your first possession. I'm curious to see if Coach Slocum's going to start the game throwing it from the gun or if he's going to run it a little bit to kind of ease the team into it. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm gonna, I, I've really noticed that uh, Schaefer's really good with those short controlled passes, mm -hmm. and a lot of quarterbacks hate those. A lot of teams hate those because yeah. that's not the sports center <laughs> pass. But those are the ones when you can tack six to eight yards on yep, a carry. Yep even four yards of carry, yep. you're just going to keep hitting first downs. And uh, they're not impressive to yep. watch, but they sure get the job done. So we got Schaefer in the gun. He gives a dive read. And he's met, Hickles met at the line of scrimmage. But also what you were saying, you keep hitting those short routes, those safeties start to creep up on you, and then they want to defend those st short routes, then you hit them with the deep one down the sideline. Oh, absolutely. And... Um, Schaefer hit a few of those out to Shane Lobb last mm. week. A um, couple of them didn't connect. They were just were talking fingertips, mm -hmm. and then he finally connected one in the end zone. And man, that's the one you want to connect yep, anyway. Yep. Hit a bubble route, Sam Smith. 
He's going to tack some yardage yep, on there. Yep. You give him a couple yards of space and he'll make you regret it. Oh, absolutely. I'll tell you, that was uh, one of the troubles last week is that West Central has a player, um, Marlott, I think, was is who it was. I, West Central, Sam Smith. Yep. Same kind of thing. Yep. Play both sides of the ball, no problem. Yep. Give him a little bit of space, and he's gone. Did you see? Uh, did you see Sam Smith's kickoff return for a touchdown last I week? I missed that one. Like, I think he picked it up at the Comets forty, ran it all the mm. way in. It was great. Good for him. Quarterback keeper. Yep. Looks a little bit short. I think he might have gained a yard on that. Yep. Oh, a couple yards. Yep. They're awful deep in their own territory to turn over on downs. Yeah. But you're so close. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's a hard call. Yeah. Either call it could be the right one or the wrong yep. one. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and the game's still fresh and early, so. So we're back in the gun. Smith to the left. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Looked like Hickle right up the middle, yep. and I think that they shut it down. Gavin Hickle on the carry. Looks like he got stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They're going to measure, it looks like. Well, it's got to be close if they're measuring it. Ooh. It might be. Nope. It looks, yeah, they got it. That's a Comets yeah, first is. down by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, those are some tough yards already that they're inching forward on. So I wonder if they're going to try to lean on Sam Smith running those bubble routes and quick routes here because that's where they're in this it, last set, that's where they picked up the bulk of their yards. It's hard saying. Of course, you... you we got trips you, right. You can't do the same thing too many times or the defense just... Yep. There's Hickle. Hickle getting wrapped yep. up. Takes two to take him down. Three. Well, he only deadlifts about what? 600? Something like that. <laughs> Hickle's a big dude. Yep. And I've watched a couple of these guys carry three or four guys. Mm -hmm. A couple weeks ago at the scrimmage, it took four or five guys to bring Rockwolf down. Mm. And it's still gaining yardage. We're not talking staggering yeah. around. Got two or three more yards. So the center is uh, Gearhart, correct? Correct. Yeah, yep. we've got Duvall off on the side there. Yep. Smith on the jet sweep. Ooh, gets folded in half yep. right by the sideline. He might have only got one yard on that. Yep. That was a hard fought yard. That, that's a lot of running for one yard. That's a lot of getting folded up like your laundry for <laughs> one yard. <laughs> I'm not seeing number 53 here on the roster. Welcome to high school sports yeah. commentary. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you see him there at left guard. Oh, nearly picked off. Yep. It's a little too much air under it. Oh, I, I, talking about not finding somebody on the roster. <laughs> Last year during, I think it was the opening game of the boys' basketball season. It took me half the game. To realize, I was like, I don't see any of these numbers on here. <laughs> Took me half the game to realize they had forgotten their jerseys at home and oh. had to wear a set of our jerseys. We got a timeout by the Comets here. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to take this opportunity to step away for this word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Football on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. 
online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just about four minutes into the game, we're yep. still scoreless here at Vic uh, Liberty Field. Victory Field. No, that's <laughs> the wrong thing. I believe that's where the uh, Indianapolis Indians play. Uh, that sounds right. So we got Comets in the punt formation here. With Blake Hammond to punt. Fourth and eight, this deep in your own territory. Yep. You don't really have a choice. Decent punt. Not a lot of wind here tonight, no, so no. that's helpful. Well, I'm surprised we didn't get a holding call on that. Was that a flag on the field? Yep, that's a flag. Well, Two he flags. has gone all the way. Yep, that was number 20, Manuel Barnes, senior. Breaking a couple tackles, making a couple moves. Let's see what these flags are. I'm sure that this one back here at the uh, 48, 47 was that hold, that jersey hold I saw. And my guess over here on the sideline, maybe a block in the back. Could well be. Comets were uh, getting antsy to try to break that run. Yep. And a personal foul. And hmm. holding on the holding. Blue Jays. We gave the personal foul call. Boy, that's that's got to be upsetting if you're the coach. Oh yeah. You you had one in the end zone and gave the whole thing up because <laughs> of an early hold that was probably unnecessary. Yep. That said. If their offense on the line looks anything like that run, the mm. Comets are in for some stiff troubles here. And we got on the defense. Judson in, I guess I'll call that a pistol. He's a little bit too far back, but oh, he's, they're in the eye. Looks like power left. And Hunter Shanelob there with the tackle. That was number 20. Manuel Barnes on the carry for the Blue Jays. That's that's who had the kickoff, wasn't it? Yep. Well, we know who to watch. Yep. Maybe he's their version of Sam Smith. Give him the ball as much as he can. Could be. 5'5", five, five, 130. He's a lot smaller than Sam. <laughs> In the eye again. Tight end right. Fullback trap. They're just going to push it. Yep. Big 57 and 75 there driving Shane Love down the field. Uh, yeah. That's that's the Judson team I expected to see. We got a third and a long one. That's what it looks like. Thomas defense struggling against this North Judson offense. Yep. In the eye again. Back to the fullback and it where they're moving the chains. Now I've seen a real uh, resurgence in the power eye formation here in the last couple seasons. I know uh, Rochester and Valley started running it. Right. Um, it's a great formation. I'm, I'm assuming we'll see some option out of it. They'll read the dive with the fullback and then have the tailback number 20 there be the pitch guy. Um, we've seen trap and dive. And there's Trap again. Just about broke a double Comet tackle there. That was number 22, Logan Brown, senior running back. Looks like, uh, I think it was Caden Webb and maybe Tim Lee on that tackle. Mm -hmm. Both newcomers to uh, to Caston. Yep. Tim Lee, uh, transfer student. Caden Webb, a uh, new freshman. I've seen some pretty big things out of him on the football yep. field so far this season. We're back in the eye, twins left. We got power. Trying to send that number 20 there yep. up the middle, Manuel, Manuel Barnes. And Gavin Hickel was there. <laughs> That's not even fair. Gavin Hickel against a guy who weighs 135 <laughs> pounds? He could pick him up, bench press him a couple times, <laughs> squat him, shrug off a tackle yep. from his teammates trying to help him. 
I think the craziest one I saw, though, was last season, I think it was Wabash, had a QB who was 6'2 or 6'3, mm. 150 pounds. I was afraid for him. I was yeah. like, I think he's going to get snapped. Yeah. We got a counter play here. Hickle again and Sam Smith right there. Good read by Hickle. Yep. I saw he was blocking. Happened to see the yep. football. Turned around and wrapped it up. To recognize the counter play, you got to have good uh, football IQ. You have to watch your film and know what's going on. The backfield is uh, rather deceptive, so read your key the right way and it will take you to the play. Yeah, it happens so fast. Aubrey and I were talking about last week. Even from up here with the vantage point we have, yep. I'll lose track of the ball up here. Yep. I, the, it amazes me the way the guys can keep track yep. of it. We got power that again. one was wide open. There's a first down. Tackle there by Landon Schaefer. And I couldn't tell. Was that 45 carrying the ball for Judson? 41. I, I don't see either of those numbers on the roster. <laughs> Hey, at least they have their numbers on both sides of their jersey. <laughs> West Central only had them on the back. Oh, that man. was great fun last week. I'm like, I can't see who that was. Same play again. Try it again. Yep. And if you're getting five yards a run, why would you stop running it? Exactly. Sam Duvall with that takedown. Yep. I think that was number 11, actually. Aldrich Harper. Hmm. No, that's a 41. No, I don't know. Give up. <laughs> they like that I formation. Tight end right. It's Pulling doing a bunch of good. Nice block there. Got, got a flag, flag on play. And everybody on the field on that one pile. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Smith, oh, that poor Manuel Barnes, he was at the bottom of that pile. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's moving under his own power. Let's see, what do we got here? Another hold? I see a lot of gesturing towards the comments. Yep. Well, that's never good, is it? No, I don't think so. They call a face mask. I didn't see the. I didn't see the call. I, I didn't just, either. They just pointed at the comments, and now they're moving the ball the wrong the wrong way. <laughs> wow. Well, it looks like they moved it up 15 yards. Wow. North Judson now first and 13. Uh, there, yeah, it'll be first and 10. Well, first and 10 on the 13. There we go. Yep. Use all of my words. <laughs> That's why we've got you here, Alex, because I say stupid things like that. <laughs> we got Judson in the eye again. Tight end left this time. And the option. Quarterback's keeping it. He's around the outside. I don't think Kasson's going to get to him. Oh. No, they rule it down. Touchdown. Wow. Judson drawing first blood yep. here tonight. I've got to say, though, it it took them about six minutes yep. to make that happen. So the, the Comets defense yep. made him drive it. Of course, we had an unfortunate face mask is what right. we're assuming. Yeah, yards given up on. Yep. Especially when you're on your side of the ball. I mean, you're just. Oh, yeah. The PAT. And, and bad no kick. Well, I can't tell. Was that? Is that swatted down? I, I see Hickle right there. Yeah, Hickle and Shane Lumber back there. Well, you see on Judson's drive there, they ran the option play. I figured that was coming eventually. You read the fullback. If the end comes down to tackle the fullback, quarterback's going to pull the ball and run right off the edge. Yeah. And, and most of the comments line fell for it. Yep. And there's the quarterback off and alone. Yep. I'm not going to lie. I fell for it, too. That was quarterback number 18, Trey Hampton. He's a junior. Well, and that's uh, when you look at these key players that they're running a lot of these plays through. Yep. 
Uh, of course, several of those through number 41, not on the roster. Yep. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, but we've got uh, the quarterback, a junior, as yep. you mentioned. And then that Manuel Barnes, he's a, he's a senior. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of experience there. Yep. Uh, and especially to be starting varsity in a school the size of North Judson, yep. you've, you, you know that they've got some talent. That's for sure. But I'm looking here at their O-line. They got some some ninth graders coming up, it looks like. We got a couple couple seniors and a lot of juniors. So uh, maybe this is a, a young Judson team looking to have a lot of success here this season and looking into next season. Nice flat kickoff kick there. Hunter. Shane Lobb looking for a hole, doesn't get it. Down at about 39? About the, four, yep, 39-40. And we'll see what uh, Coach Slocum dials up here. You're down six points already. Just under three minutes left in the first. Yep. A lot better field position this time. Yep. And still there's no real pressure on the Comets here to try to get a big score and rush things. So take your time, develop the offense, get a couple plays. Shane Love tied up behind yeah. the line of scrimmage. That ball looked like it was tipped by that end. That was just such an effortless pad. Just yep, yep. <laughs> well, the field looks like it's got a little bit of a bow in it. So It, you, you it does. It, I, can, I walked across the field to get up here to the press box, and it's mm -hmm. absolutely proud in the center. <laughs> So you got the quarterback standing here in the center of the field and the ends down here outside the hashes. You have to think he's, what, a foot lower just because the ground's curved? Absolutely. Of course, Hunter's tall enough to overcome well, that. Well, yeah. <laughs> pass. Sam yeah. Smith. Ooh, gets spun around, thrown down at the 44. Looked like a, a slant there by Sam Smith. It was, it was open. They're actually going to spot the ball at the almost 41. Yep. Uh, 46. Jeez. <laughs> we got a third and four. Scoreboard says third and three. That's a long three, yep. Alex. Yep. <laughs> that fo football is absolutely closer to the 45 than it is to the 46. <laughs> we got Smith out wide here at the bottom of the screen. Ooh. Oh. Face mask. <laughs> hey, see all, all, all the of flags. The flags. <laughs> Landon's helmet's come off. Oh yeah, it's an easy call there, face mask. I I think I won't swear to it, but I think his helmet was sideways yep, by the time. Yep. Now <laughs> looking looking through the ear hole. <laughs> now I I'm a little hazy on this rule, but if your helmet comes off in the play, I thought you had to set out for the next play. Now, I'm not sure if that's the rule in high school football. Um, apparently not. Landon's still in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that there was a – yeah, I, I was with you. I yep. thought there was some sort of penalty to the player who lost his helmet. Yep. For but that wouldn't make sense. Why would you penalize the player when the other team ripped his helmet off? So we got Schaefer in the gun, Smith in the slot to the left. Got a pass. He's throwing up to Shane Lob. Shane Lob yeah, double got coverage and he completes it. Yeah. One-handed grab by Shane Lob there. Oh, and you can see a uh, definite height advantage of Shane Lob over the corner on him. That was still. That was a nice yep. reach up, snag it. That was a big pass. That's. Oh well, that was a really good pass by. Young Landon Schaefer to put the ball in the air so his big, tall, wide receiver can go up and make the play. Absolutely. And that's, and that's what uh, we were talking about yep. at the beginning of the broadcast, that the athleticism that we're seeing out of some of these freshmen, yep. it, it was just it was the, the skill set and the talent that the Comets needed at the right time, I think. Got Hickle up the middle. Look like maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Possibly. 
Got somebody yeah, slow getting yeah. up there. 67. Grant Higgle. Mm. Uh, Grant's been fairly instrumental this season. A couple of big plays for him. There's just some athletic talent in those Hickle jeans. Yep. yep. There, I mean, we got trips left. Looks like a pass up to Shane Lobb. Ooh, that's a He's big pass. That might be too high. Nope. Mm. <laughs> now I understand Landon's young. But you'd like to see him throw that more over into the corner, the front corner of the end zone there at this distance that you're at so Hunter could turn or maybe box him out and make another one-handed grab Yeah. instead of having to break his route into the safety. Well, and yeah, and that uh, uh, Kyle back, number mm -hmm. 32 for the Blue Jays, nearly, he made the dive for yep. it, nearly came up with the interception as the ball went dead on the field. So. But we got Kasten driving here. Um, and again, just like when Kasten was on defense, now Judson had an untimely penalty, and Kasten's in a good position here, third and long. Oh. Ooh. Bad read of the field there. Yep. And uh, that was uh, number seven, seven, Eli Blount, nearly picking that off. Yep. Would have been a big move for the Blue Jays. As it is, we're now fourth and long. Oh, it's, you're at what, the 20... Four, twenty-three. Yeah. Mm, do you try to punt it into the, you know, punt it high in the air and hope you can cover it? Or, I mean, it looks like well, Casson's going for it, but it's a tough, tough situation. Right. And this is once again, either answer could be right. Yep. You know, possibly with a different punter, you actually go for the field goal. I don't know. Oh, you know, and a little bit of a wild pass there. Not um, sure what happened. I think that Landon was maybe feeling a little bit of pressure. Yep. Um, but a turnover in this situation isn't bad. You've pinned Judson further back than when they started their last drive. Absolutely. So, so now we got the Comet defense back out here. Um, looks like Sam Smith and Gavin Hickel playing the Mike Backer spots. Um, they made a couple good stops last drive on the, the power play, so we'll see if uh, they can come up big again. I formation, twins left. Ooh, that's, a, that up. that's a wobbly pass. Number four, Landon comes down with it. No, nope, no. Nope. He oh, caught it. That was a 35. Wow. J.J. Blunt. I cannot believe that that pass completed. Uh, Landon had his hands all over that. I so we have a 35, J.J. Blunt, and a number seven, Eli. A couple of twins here for uh, That's the end of the first quarter. Judson. Oh, and there's the end of the first. We go... Uh, Going to the second with uh, North Judson up six, comment zero. And I did just get, I'm trying to pull up my uh, text message here. Uh, Coach Don Helmick, he texted in. Uh, glad you're watching, Don. And he said, uh, Helmick comes on penalty. Helmick comes, penalty you can stay in, otherwise you're out for play. Mm -hmm. Here's the scoop on Kane. Sam Shanelob just called. Says yep. the doctor said last week when he got stepped on in football, he probably picked up a hairline fracture. Oh. Um, so mm. there was a lot of piles last week. Yep. Evidently, his arm got stepped on. Yep. And uh, today, he, when he lost his grip in the weight room, mm. he, uh, that hairline fracture just went ahead and opened up. Mm. So, no good. Yep. And we wish him a speedy recovery. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. He is a. Uh, that's got to be a bummer. I mean, you know, you're playing your freshman season with yep. your big brother as yep. a senior and now something like that to happen. Uh, so it's just – it saddens me any time that an athlete's yeah. season's over. I, I've lost a couple athletes in cross country yep. this season, uh, one of whom's a, a senior, and that just – it breaks my heart. It, mm -hmm. Athletics are such a – part of the yep. athlete's high school experience yep. that and their overall development as a young individual oh, absolutely there are lessons that you learn in sports uh that 
oftentimes you don't get until you're well into a career yep. and you have to learn them the hard way, yep. things about fairness or the lack thereof yep. and, and some of those things that athletics teach so yep. well, um, work ethic yep. and things That's like that. That's a big one. And, um, you know, if you got a good upbringing and you might – you might. I wasn't yep. an athlete. I picked a lot of that <laughs> up. But uh, athletics teach it in a way that just makes it stick. Mm -hmm. So, uh, once again, speedy recovery to all of our injured athletes. Yep. On uh, both both teams here. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, we don't wish any ill on these on the Blue Jays. Um, we're all out here to have fun, watch some good football. Yep. So we got Judson in the eye, tight end right, sweep right. He's got some lead blockers out there for him. And there's That's that number, number twenty again, Manuel Barnes. Looks like about a gain of five. Yeah, speaking of five, it looks like it was number five, Sam Smith, with that tackle. <laughs> yeah, I would expect to see um, Judson run the option a couple more times. If your quarterback's going untouched for 15, 20 yards, I would lean heavily on that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're in the eye again, tight end left. And there it is. Quarterback keeping it, and he's no one's he's, catching him. He's going. He's going all the way. Yep. I don't want to say I called it, but. <laughs> you kind of called it. <laughs> now, in this situation, you miss the last PAT. Do you go for two to try to make it 14, and you just kick the PAT and try to take a point? You know, as successful as their offense has been so yep. far, I think that going for two is the right yep. move. Um, you know, and it, it could be that their kicker's phenomenal and they want to give them field time. Yep. Uh, but honestly, and no slight against the comments, yep. they're, they've had a, the Blue Jays have had a very successful offense. I'd go for two. And they ran the option, and the quarterbacks got it. A wise man once told me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Comets now sitting down 16 or 14. I can count. <laughs> hey, if I heard correctly over the offseason, uh, Judson lost most of their coaches. They left and went to other, other schools. It I used to be Ted White used to be the head coach. Well, I did see on John Harrell today that um, head coach Brett Lampert it's, this is his first season, so uh, I, whatever the coaching staff is yep. doing, though, it's working. They, yep. They've got a group of guys, so uh, I don't know if it's that they're just kind of going in and doing more of the same, mm -hmm. or, but they've. it looks to me like their guys have bought into the program, mm -hmm. and uh, and we both know how important that can be. Yeah, oh, and yeah. If you've got a group of guys, well, for instance, uh, the Comets have shaken up their offense. We talked mm -hmm. about this. They've yep. dropped out of the wing tee. And if the team hadn't bought in, if they had fought against Coach Slocum, yep. it wouldn't have ended well for yeah. them. But in two ways. Number one, Coach is going to win. Yeah. We know that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but number two, then they wouldn't be prepared at this point. That's right. And um, and uh, if they hadn't worked out the spread and they weren't committed to the spread offense, you probably would have seen them go back to more of a wing T kind of slow, methodical offense. And Because uh, if a spread team – isn't dedicated, it can get uh, quite ugly quick. We got Smith on the return. Looking for a hole. Yep. That oh, hole still closed, running. but he might have broke it. Nope. Went down at the 34. He again was dragging a couple guys there with him. Yeah, Sam is, yeah, I coached Sam in, um, in the sixth grade, and I think seventh grade, and he just, Around eighth, the end of his eighth grade year, his ninth grade year, Sam's gotten big. Yeah, yep. See, uh, last I checked in, he was squatting 405 as a freshman. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, he's, he's basically my size, only with a lot less body fat percentage. <laughs> uh, the roster has him down at 5'11", 185. And uh, he, Sam's a big guy. Yeah. He's just a natural athlete. 5'11", five, five 185 sounds a little modest, but... It might be, because uh, I think, number one, he's tipping above six foot now. Mm. Oh, 
Bad pass there intended yep. for uh, number eight. Number eight. We don't have number eight on the roster. <laughs> and with their helmets on, it's kind of hard to tell apart. You know all your comments players look alike to me. <laughs> now they were setting up their uh, screen with the kick out. So the far right outside receiver there, number eight, ran in on the bubble and Hickle kicked out the corner. What I would expect to see later in the game is Hickle to fake that kick out block and run a wheel down the sideline, landed to fake the bubble, turn and then throw it deep. Well, you were, uh Oh, oh, nice pass there to Rockwolf. Rockwolf fighting off He's going. three four. He's still going. That's what I was talking about. Yep. Just got to keep your feet chopping. <laughs> it's about a took gain of what, took, over 20? Yeah, took five guys to get him down. So Kasson's driving the ball here, and they've, they've had some success throwing it to the middle of the field. They hit Sam Smith a couple times right up the middle. They've hit Jesse. Um, but, and once again, this is a different – I mean, not just a – different lineup, but mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot more ball in the air. Yep. I don't know that we've seen that for the last three seasons. Uh, probably longer than that. <laughs> um, uh, I think the year that Casey Alt graduated, mm -hmm. um, we saw we saw some pass plays. Nice grab yep. there. Win it out. Throw it to the big guy. Now in single A football, if you got a guy that can throw and some wide receivers that can catch, you're going to do some great things. Um, we see Central Catholic for years they won and won, and all they did was run spread offense and throw it and throw it. Um, that's Pioneer's biggest crutch is defending the pass. When you run wing T and you defend wing T every week, right. then you have a spread team coming and they're throwing all over the place. So you real change of pace. Right. Well, and yeah, Wing T was, that was Indiana football yep. for, oh, oh big a, sack on Schaefer. Number 41. That's that one that's not on the roster. Yep. He's had a couple of big carries yep. too. Wow. That's, now you're in a third and long here. And ball just barely over the 50 yard yep. line. Sam Smith running in the play. I'd be backing up the coverage if I was Judson. You got a third and long. Oh, oh Shaver right throwing that interception. Yeah. Getting the tackle. Number 72, Nolan Scheidler. He was just in the right place yep. at the right time. He read that pass perfectly. I think it was uh, intended for Rockwolf again. Yep. It, uh, well, it looked like Scheidler there wasn't rushing, rushing the passer. He's uh, listed here as an offensive lineman, defensive lineman. So I'm wondering if uh, in football they have what's called a spy. If he sets back and he spies the quarterback because Landon can run, he just mirrors his movement and then Landon threw him the football. So now Judson takes over in the eye. Twins right. Oh, got a whistle. Comet's calling a timeout. We're going to take this opportunity to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. You're watching Comet's Football on Caston TV on RTC TV4. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 9.06 left in the half. North Judson 14, Caston 0. Yep. Just before the break, uh, we saw an unfortunate interception thrown yep. by freshman quarterback Landon Schaefer. Yep. Uh, I heard uh, he had a few unfortunate ones last week as well against West Central. He's he's really solid, yep. for, but once again, he's a freshman quarterback. Yep. Uh, 
and he's really acquitting himself well. Yep. It's not to be not to take anything away from him, but you're going to have with that. And there's that option again. And this time it's the fullback, 22. Tackled by his shoelaces by Rockwolf. Of course, I mean, if you're going to get tackled, if you can do it outside the chains, you've done a good thing <laughs> yep. for your team. Yep. I would think if the option's working for you, you lean on it. And you scored twice on it already. You're getting big chunks of yards out of it. Well, you said if it ain't broke, don't fix yep. it. Counter. Oh, that was trap. Logan Brown, is that tackle by Shane Lum? Look like it. With that height he's got, if he gets you spinning, mm. you, you know you hit the ground hard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, though. There's not a lot of our football players that I want tackled by. <laughs> like... I think that number is right around zero. Yep. Power. Oh, right and there. And no one Nice stop in. and go on that. Yep. That was a senior. Manuel Barnes. Just tapped the brakes. Yep. Let you, the tackle go past him and went on. You notice for the first few steps there, he ran with more power being close to the defensive linemen and linebackers. But as soon as he hit that hole, he went from power to speed, and you saw him whip down the field real quick. Now you try the PAT. Number 40, Cheyenne Allen. Alex, I think that I would have run too. Oh, hmm. Kick looked right left to me. Yep. I, once again, the, the way that the ground offense has been working. Yep. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd have lined up and run the option. Yep, yep. So now you're down 20 to 0 for Caston. Might be feeling the heat a little bit. I mean, it's still early in the game. There's just a tick under eight minutes left in the half. Um, but you received to open the game, so Judson's going to get the ball. You really need to get something right. generated here. You, you definitely got to crack that goose egg before you yep. go into the locker room. And e even if you take the next eight minutes to methodically drive down the field right and that'll be huge going into halftime oh yeah Ab and you know we've seen we've seen the the comments offense hold it for several run or yep. se uh, several series and, yep. and and run time off yep we've seen their their defense hold these blue jays yep i think though that the blue jays are starting to get a good read on the defense yep and now i think the comments might be getting frustrated and yep well, I think what you don't do is you don't take the ball away from Landon. You show him, hey, you're the quarterback. We have confidence in you. We move the offense through you. So let's go back at it. And let's let's keep hacking away at this defense. Absolutely. Everybody's going to make mistakes, and a young yep. quarterback more so than anybody. Let's face it, a rookie quarterback in uh, the NFL is likely to throw interceptions and yep. stuff like that. It happens. I and mean, Peyton Manning in the height of his career threw seven interceptions against the Chargers. <laughs> I mean <laughs> – you're going to tell him you're going to take the ball away from him? <laughs> you can tell him I'm not. <laughs> so Shane Lobb on the return off the uh, pooch kick? Uh, I don't know. It it, it looked like just a long bounce. attempt on an onside. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, but I, one thing, and see, this is something that the comments were really had uh, a benefit last week against West Central. Mm -hmm. West Central's kicker kept having a habit of sending them high and short. Mm -hmm. And so they were receiving it somewhere around the 40, 35. Nice. Um, and Landed then on the run. He oh. broke a tackle, two tackles. Up past the line of scrimmage. Yep. Oh, he, quite a bit of yards out of yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Five or six, it looks like. I think Coach Slocum might need to utilize Landon's running abilities a little bit more, maybe throw in some option plays of your own out of the spread formation. Absolutely. Look, Landon Schaefer is a sprinter. Yeah. I coach him in the spring, and he's got wheels. Yep. Use that. Yep. Um, and it might be good. You know, he might have had a ding on his confidence there throwing that interception. So maybe have him get some success running the ball a little bit. Maybe right. you start feeling good. Right. Maybe uh, 
maybe a wedge play through uh, Hickel. Yep. You know, maybe that bubble through Smith. Yep. Get some ground yardage going. And there's the bubble to Hickel. Mm, oh. It's a little bit too tall. And But again, Landon's standing in the center of the field there. He's Absolutely. a couple feet up. He needs to. Absolutely. You know, I've, I've seen a tendency in high school football fields to be a little yep. domed in yep. the middle. Because uh, no one wants to pay for the <laughs> drainage system. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, out at North White, it was almost like an egg. And Coach Oric, who is coaching now, told our quarterback during practice, because our practice field's flat, right? practice now throwing it at his feet, because in the game you'll be throwing it at his head. The f field was so bowed. Wow. And North Miami last season was nearly that bad. Ooh, mm. big sack on Schaefer there. Number 78. Nearly took his head off. Nick Cole, Cole senior. There's that experience again. Yep, yep. And, of course, that's just going to be a big factor as this game and this season progresses for both of these teams. You have senior leaders and their you know, leaders in the locker room, in the weight room, and on the field. Right. That Caston just doesn't have. Now they're in punt formation here. Good punt. See what uh, number 20 can do. <laughs> Start to say to good, Manu good Bart. Good job, I'm Sam surprised. Smith. Surprised. I am surprised that they didn't call a hold there on number 35, J.J. <laughs> Blount. He was hanging off of Smith's uh, waistband yep. there, about pantsed him. That might have been called back in Fulton, but not here in North Delta. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent on Sam Smith. I mean, you're getting was. obviously held, but you defy that and you still, still make the play. Still go and make the play, yep. Goes back to the athleticism of that young yep. man. And, and the toughness, just the mental toughness to want, to want it. So we're back in the eye for Judson. Tight end left. Trap. Oh, and he's got space. Again, that was Smith. Shut down. Now, if you read that guard on the trap play, he's going to take you to the hole. Smith, being the opposite side backer, reading that guard, follows the guard right into the play. It's that football IQ again. Yep. <coughs> Tight end right, eye formation. It looks like the option again. And he's going to ride it until he... I just got a good look on that. And Rock mm. Wolf getting him out of bounds. That, I just finally got a good look at that option, yep. though. So both Barnes and Hampton had their hands Both on the ball them. for four yards yep, yep. until they figured out who had the play. Yep. Don't, That's we're, great. We're, we're going to keep riding the, the read until the defense decides who they want to tackle, and then when you make your decision, we'll make you wrong. Quarterback pulls it, and down, down the sideline he goes. That was – that's just incredible. Yep. Incredible coordination there because it's not like – Look, man, if you and I were both trying to run with football, it'd be slow. <laughs> Sweep right. Flick back there to Barnes. Yep. He muscles a strong one or two. But I imagine Judson at practice runs that option play 100 times at least a day. Yep. Yeah. Start out, you get it smooth. Slow is smooth, smooth yep. is fast. As soon as you've got it down, yep. you start adding speed to it. That's yep. just like anything. We got tight end right. Roll out here. We're back keeper. Schaefer with that tackle. I don't think Kasten fell for that fake all too well. The end stayed upfield, forcing the quarterback to come back in. He got a three or four yards out of it. Four yards of carry gets you first down. Yep, yep. I mean, and when you've got a 20-point cushion anyway, yep. you can start trying crazy stuff. Tight end right. And you go back to the option. Okay, on the keeper. And there's the chains moving again. Yep. 
And you're getting, what, at least five yards every time they've ran that option play and a few touchdowns? Has it, I don't think that option's been stopped short yet. No, I don't think so. And, you know, for the fans in the sta stands, it, watching the same play over and over again is boring. Yep. But Power left. Good job by Gavin Hickle. Hickle taking him down. And then the next question, though, is when we look at these two rosters and knowing that several off of the comments side yep. aren't available for play, how much of, how much uh, effect is this yep. roster depth going to have yep. going into the second half? How much uh, attrition is the, have the comments already endured so far this game? And you can see on the sideline they don't have many subs. There's a counter play. Ooh. Oh man, forty one just has no quit in him. Wow. I wish I wish that young man's name was on the roster, but wish that young man's name was on the comments roster. <laughs> Heard hey. the last name Brown from our announcer over in the next room. Caleb Brown, maybe? It's not. Well, there's a Logan Brown. I'm going to bet that's a brother. Tabor Brown. He's listed as number okay. 48. And he's only a junior. I mean, and look at who it was that he was fighting off, too. Yeah. It's not. Those weren't little guys. That yep. was Rock Wolf. That yep. was, uh, was a Hickle. Yep. Maybe two Hickles. Trap. And touchdown. I'll tell you, I would That's like to know if uh, Judson has any more formations than just the eye. Uh, well, now, that, this is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, That's Judson's fourth touchdown. Uh, yep. And three of the four, no. Two by number 18. Two by the, the quarterback, Hampton. Number 20 has one. Okay, so this would be Brown's first one. So you corrected me. I was wrong. <laughs> that one looks good. That looks good. First, uh, first extra point in the game. Now I said it last time. Now there's three minutes left. Another score is added for Judson. Now the, that fire just keeps getting cranked up and up. So I don't know, maybe you take a deep shot or two to Shane Lob down the sideline and see what sticks. One thing the Comets can't afford to do is to psychologically drop their heads. Yep. And I think, okay, just the second game of the season, but I think that this season they have a, a, a – higher chance of doing that yep. than they did because last season they knew they yeah. came in they knew look we've got two guys to sub in yep. anybody gets hurt maybe we forfeit the game yep. i mean it's is, this is something we've just got to go yep this season they they came in they they had 23 guys yep. uh, at the scrimmage new offense you know you're getting right. There's getting, so much excitement yep. they look good during the scrimmage they look good during west central yep. uh, it just it went the wrong way at the Proverbial last minute. Yep. Um, and then to come out here, you know, do they do they start saying, well, you know, maybe none of this matters, right. or do they stay in the game? And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait and yep. see what the second half brings. Um, but you and I both know, as soon as as soon as an athlete drops their head, yep, it's done. It's done. Uh, because ninety percent of any sport is mental. Yep. Rock Wolf here on the return. Looking for a hole. Gets kind of tied up and it's juking around looking for a hole. They're right around the 30 yard line. And part of that's just a different caliber of team. Mm -hmm. uh, West Central is a lot smaller. Yep. That gives them less options. Yep. You know, they, they're, West Central is a lot m more similar Yep. Two casting yep. than Judson is. Judson yep. is a lot bigger school, and um, but from here on out, Caston's going to have to be playing up, playing up to Judson. Absolutely. Well, we don't know what Triton's got, but I imagine they'll be playing up to Triton a little bit. Knox, yep. Knox, Pioneer, Laville. Right. Um, you'll be Winnemac. I hear is doing pretty well this season. Winnemac's always been a decent team, yep. and um, now run by Smith here. 
And now looking at last week, maybe Pioneer's not the dominant force they yeah, were. maybe not. But then again, after last Friday, I'm sure they're out for blood tonight. Yep. And they're playing Winnemac. Well, Winnemac had a tough outing against Knox last week, I believe. So both teams. Yep. Both teams looking to prove themselves. Yep. Uh, and both of them are TC schools. So yep. feel free to, if you're watching in your web browser, or open another browser tab, yep. flip back and forth. My good cousin Tom Shaw should be broadcasting that game. Awesome. Awesome. Now you want to you want to keep the audio on on ours, right? <laughs> Just flip over, take a look at the score, and then come right on back. Pass left. Out to Hickle. And, and picked off. That's going for six. That pick there by number 35, J.J. Blount. That's not the first time we've said his name tonight. Yep. I am starting to wonder when, when the heads are going to start going down here for Kasten. And you're getting mistakes that are adding up more and more frequently. Right. And a lot of times that's due because you mentally check out of the game. Check out. Or well, you get frustrated and yep. you start rushing things. Yep. And uh, that's not just football. That's not that's that's anything. Yep. Whatever your day job is. Yep. You, you start checking out and you get frustrated yep. and you start making more mistakes. Yep. The difference is, is you know, sometimes you can set things aside, take a break. Clock's running here. Yep. You, you don't get that. So... Um, so we're gonna have to see. We're we're just over two over the two minute warning. Yep. So we're gonna hopefully Coach Slocum can get him in the locker room at halftime, re-energize him. I saw that a lot last season. Yep. They, they'd come out of the locker room and look like a different team, and, uh, and that one looks good, good. too. Yep. And so the Comets really are gonna have to have that re-energize. Yep. Re they're gonna have to re-energize. Re re-energize. They need to go back to the whiteboard and um, figure out what Judson's doing defensively. I mean, we know what Judson's going to do on offense. They're going to run option, they're going to keep running trap, and they're going to keep running the toss play. But you need to start getting something going on offense so you can keep your defense off the field. Right. Well, you're not really keeping the defense off the field because the guys that play offense also play defense. <laughs> but but <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, It's once again, that goes back to that bench depth. Yep. Uh, even with 20 guys. Half your team's playing both sides yep, of the ball. Yep. But I would like to see, you know, Judson start rotating in their younger guys. You know, they get – obviously you're only allowed so many quarters a week to play. Um, but I'd like to see them start rotating in the younger guys. You know, I was at a North Miami and uh, Northwestern volleyball. Mm -hmm. And Northwestern was up two sets to nothing. And then all of a sudden all those girls that just played in the JV game started going in there at the varsity. So it's a good time to get um, – Friday night light experience for these younger kids. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, you've still we, got. Do we have a penalty against Judson that we missed and sportsmanlike? They seem to be starting back a little bit further than Yeah, normal. they do, but I didn't see a flag. Well, this bodes well for Kasten. Yet, two minutes left, and you're hopefully getting the ball in good territory here. Deep kick. Right Rock to Brock Wolf. Wolf. He's heading to the sideline. And he's still running. That was a nice spin move. Yeah, and they're on the they're on the right side of the 50. That's uh the first kickoff return that they've gotten into Blue Jays territory yep. this game. Now you got a short field. You have one timeout left, unfortunately. They've used two of them. Uh you got just over two minutes, and of course, every time you get a first down, the clock stops. Um, go out of bounds, the clock stops, so you can right there. You get can, a little. You can strategically use those st clock stops. Yep. And Looks like we got trips left. Rock Wolf down here at the near 50. Oh, slow on that handoff fake, yep. and Schaefer gets tied up. Yep, gonna lose about five on that. Six. Now here you're just going to keep letting the clock run. You had a bad play. Just, I mean, maybe you hope to get a good one this play, but let's not let's not compound. Schaefer and Smith in the backfield. 
And uh, another and interception. Another interception. Yeah, they're just setting under those slants now. They're anticipating them. My guess is if you're Coach Slocum, you're running the ball not very well, maybe a couple yards on average. You're now predictable with your underneath pass routes. I guess your only option left is to start throwing it deep. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> or you keep trying with what you're doing and yeah, I mean, you know, though, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again <laughs> and expecting different results. Um, and here's where it falls on these senior leaders. Hey, we got a new formation here on Judson. They're in gun themselves. Split backfield, twins left. Oh, Ooh, bad snap. snap. And they still got let 20 him wide deep. open, and he's got it. Now, now at this point, you're just kind of doing what you want if you're Judson. Right. Good tackle by Rockwell. Yep. Great pass by Judson. That was a big pass. Yep. That's only their second pass of the night, I believe. The quarterback's two for two. Yeah, anyway, we were saying before <laughs> that last snap, um, and off of a bad snap, too. Yep. That's, that's, yep. The Comets should have capitalized on that. Yep. But, um, you know, if you're these senior leaders, you know, Gavin Hickel and Hunter yep. Shane Lobbin. Sam Duvall. Yeah. Even Aiden. Oh, yeah, Aiden's still down here. He's just not in pads. Yep. You don't – you've got to keep uh, yep. Schaefer pumped up. Yep. You know, because when your quarterback checks out, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, if your play caller and the guy you're snapping the ball to every play is done. I mean, I knew going into the season Hunter Shane Lob had been, you know, competing at the, the – Starter spot for quarterback, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Poland Landon's the best idea. I mean, uh, I'm trying to remember. We we had a couple of plays last week where we put somebody else in for QB, and I, for the life of me, don't remember who it was. And there's another Blue Jays touchdown. Yeah. Thirty-five seconds left on the clock. I would say. Run out the play clock a yeah, couple times. Yep. Maybe hand off a dive. Uh, I wouldn't recommend throwing a screen. Oh, bad PAT. Send it right, right back into his lineman. Rough first half here for the Comets. Yep. It was a lot different last week, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm afraid Coach Slocum's not going to be real happy when he comes up here for the post-game interview. <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. it's been it's been silly mistakes, a yep. lot of them. Yep. Uh, you know, when you have the same pass route. Picked off and intercepted yep. three times now? Yep. Quit throwing it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I can't remember how many penalties Kasson's had against them. They had a face mask and a hold. I think that's it. So you're playing, a, so. you're playing a pretty clean game so far. You're just... Right, as opposed to last week where I lost count of the number <laughs> of penalties. Most of them against West Central. Uh, but one of them we had a false start, I think it was on the uh or an offsides i don't remember which mm. on like the one yard line oh you, yeah like <laughs> first and one you back it up and then just gave it away rock wolf here and he's gonna get swallowed up down at the comets 22. yep i'd be looking to hand off a dive to gavin hickle maybe run a wedge wedge play Hope, hope that Judson doesn't burn all three of their timeouts, which I don't imagine they would in this situation. I don't see why they'd have cause to. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, there's there's not a lot of point in icing a team. Yep. Right now, the Comets are pretty cold. Yep, yep. They, they need to get something going, and with less than 30 seconds, it's not the time to try it. And there's the dive to... Smith. 
We got a couple yards there. Four yard, three, four. Game I'd clock, 15 seconds in the half. I'd uh, say you let it let it run down and get to halftime. I start to say, yeah, right now you just And that looks to be exactly what they're doing. Ooh, that's a, that was rough, a rough first half for the Comets. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. Uh, we've got 15 minutes or so. You've got time to go grab yourself a snack, get you something to drink. Check into the other local games. And absolutely. You can check those out on uh, rtc4.com or any of our apps. Uh, of course, if you have Rochester cable, you can just watch us on your TV. Uh, but for now, we're going to step away. I'm Blair Zimmerman, and this is Casting TV on RTC TV4. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're in the three-minute stretching period that the ISHA mandated, I don't know, a few seasons back, mm -hmm. whatever it was. Um, so Col uh, Colts, nope, Comets <laughs> and Blue Jays back out on the field after yep. halftime. And I, I don't know that I'm not really glad that I wasn't a fly on the wall mm. in the Comets locker room. Um because Coach Slocum doesn't mince a lot of words. He'll That's call right. a spade a spade. Yep. And, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, he's got your back all yep. the way through. But if you did it, if you did a dumb, he's going to tell you dumb, yep. dumb. So. Um, well, that makes me wonder, you know, you looking ahead. And obviously with the new rule this year, it's going to be a running clock. Um, it used to be the way the past was the coaches would come together and then they would talk to the refs and they'd say, hey, we want a running clock. Now it's automatic. If it's a 35-point deficit, it's going to be a running clock. So the coaches have no choice. Um, so now what do you do? Do you? I mean, obviously you're not going to throw in the towel. I mean, right. You, you brought the players back out here to stretch instead of putting them on the bus. Um, so in the locker room for Coach Slocum, I wonder, you know, what kind of stuff he brewed up for the offense. Maybe um, they've driven up the field a little bit here, um, more so in the early start of the game than here in the later part. Um, do you you know do you keep throwing it to Hunter? Do you keep trying to throw those underneath routes? You've had a couple go the wrong way. Um, yeah, I think that they need to abandon the underneath route. Yeah, uh, Judson has just absolutely read that yep. like a book, yep. and they're writing the last chapter on every one of those underneath yep. passes. Yep. I had a chance. I, I had a couple words with uh, Zach Slocum yep. as he walked through the press box. He's kind of shaking his head. He's not sure what's going on, but he did say uh, Schaefer mentally is, is still there, Good. and which is again, it would, yep. it's something we were worried about there, uh, because as a freshman, yep. anybody can do it. And, and he's been but, sacked a couple times by some big, big uh, defensive lineman here for oh, Judson. Yeah. So, I mean, you got what a couple, almost three hundred pounders over here. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, number seventy-five. He's three forty. That's a big boy. Yep. 255, 230, <laughs> 235. You got some. Uh, Get a couple of those guys smashed on yeah. top. Um, and we've seen a couple of busted plays for Caston. They um, botched a handoff. They've, of course, landed, thrown a couple of bad passes, uh, a couple of blown assignments on blocking where, you know, the snap goes through clean and then all of a sudden you see Judson flying up the middle. Um, defensively for the Comets, I. I mean, there's three plays that are killing you. You got trap, option, and toss. That, those are the three plays that right. Judson's leaned on. So, I mean, you, you know what the symptoms are to that disease. So, um, right. what, I, what, I w what I would like to see is cast and get a score or two. Um, even if that takes a long drive here, you, right. you know, get a stop. Get out, you know, get the offense out there and drive it up the field. If you have to, you know, if you have to claw, kick, scratch, and bite for every every yard you have to show show that offensively you have fight left in you well and i'm looking out here and i'm seeing a lot of the same numbers in blue that we saw in the first half yep. so uh we weren't sure if we we're going to come back and look at maybe not the jv team but some of the younger players yep. and that's not what we're seeing to start this half so uh judson's coming out here to run up the score a little bit more yep well, I'm guessing they have a. They probably have a JV game tomorrow morning, and they they're only allowed what is it five or six quarters a week. So yeah, they I'm you probably won't see them come in until the start of the fourth, which is another rule I think needs to be amended. So we got a return, and he's dragging the comets along, and now you will see the running clock. And I guess for Judson, you just stay in the I formation and keep running toss option. And well, if you're gonna put, if you're wanting to just keep racking up points, yeah. At this point, though, if I'm the coach and I've got other things I've been working on, mm -hmm. this is where we're gonna put them in, right? Because uh, it doesn't matter what you do in the scrimmage. Both sides know exactly what's yeah, going on. Yeah. You, you have mean, more of a live practice here. Exactly. Um, and then if the Comets put a touchdown or two on the board, then we go back and we say, okay, we're going back in the eye. Yep. So there was the trap play, and Kasten stuck it to what, two? Looks like it, maybe three. 
Rowan Brown on the carry. Or even if you're not going to try a different formation, maybe try out some guys in other positions yeah. and start strengthening up yep. that line. Because we, we keep seeing and hearing a lot of the same names. And, and I get it. You yep. do that. Yep. You've got those guys that you rely on. But here's that, again, that mm -hmm. live practice. Yep. Mix up the rotation a little bit. And there's the power play. Comet's not having any of that. You get another couple. It's about third and five. You know, but the next question, that what if, I do that a lot. I like the what ifs. Like, <laughs> what if Aiden Sarver was on the line tonight? Yeah, it's and he's out there on defense, and you got right. another. How does that, again, that energy. Yeah, <laughs> and the toughness. No oh, doubt yeah, he's no, tough. he's a strong guy. There's the option play. And Man. it's, now they're just, now they're trying to play flag football with him. And speaking of a flag. Gonna guess a block in the back there. Personal foul on the Comets. I didn't see a face mask. I didn't. There was no late hit. I said the only thing I saw was that attempted a tackle that was really just mm -hmm. all in the back. Mm -hmm. What there was no real, there was no way to really attempt a wrap up or anything. It was a shove in the back, mm -hmm. and that's the only thing I saw that looks end of the night. The refs are the boss. Yep. Yep. <coughs> And every day of the week, I don't want one of those striped shirts. <laughs> this is everybody's favorite meal right out there. Yep. <laughs> Referee. You got another couple yards there. I Twins left, tight end right for Judson. And there's the option again, and the quarterback's in the end zone. From this angle, it looked like the fullback was had, and the quarterback pulled it and snuck in right behind him. And again, the the speed that they can move that football with yeah. two guys on yep. it is unbelievable. See, so they want to when they're holding the ball like that with two guys on it. They're asking the defense which one has it, and the defense is going to say the fullback has it, and the quarterback's going to say, "No, you're wrong. I got right. it." That it's the same trick when. Uh, when you got the candy bar behind your back, yep. you ask the kid to pick a hand, <laughs> and you got it in both hands. <laughs> Same exact thing. That uh, extra point shut down. So now we move the score to 46 to zero. Um, clock, sh clock should be running, shouldn't it? Maybe not after a score. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. You're up here as the football expert. <laughs> Why don't you just uh, say those? Maybe that's a change with that new rule yeah. too. Is that you know the traditional running clock was yeah. always running, where aside from injury, where this one is stopped after. Yep. Well, we heard the official in the next room. He come up, talk to the uh, um, the guy running the clock over here, um, and he said, "Just keep it running until I tell you to stop." Judson setting up to kick the ball off. Rock Wolf and Smith back for the Comets. Those are a couple of guys that can move the football. Yep. Uh, They've had a couple good returns so far today, too. Yeah, not, uh, not what I've kind of traditionally seen out of them. Oh, Ooh. there's a botch. Smith's trying to make the most out of it. And he's he's down behind yeah. their their 20. So now if you were in Coach Slocum's shoes, 
You're looking at the clock. You're looking at the scoreboard. You're looking at the look in your player's eyes. What, what, what would you try to do out of this situation? <laughs> I really don't know. Um, maybe some of those long passes that have been successful. Uh, start getting the defense looking at Shane Law mm -hmm. and, and wide receiver. Mm -hmm. uh, get them looking at your fullback mm -hmm. more frequently. Um, go back to that bubble route with Smith. Yep. Uh, you know, anything but those short There's slant passes. Option out of the Comets. Yeah, right. those, those the backers for Judson are sitting under those slants. So Yeah, yeah. so you absolutely – you don't uh, – to me – you don't throw those again yeah. in the whole third quarter. Yep. Because uh, we haven't seen that completed successfully since the first, if I remember correctly. Uh, uh, I think that's – well, unless you count the one stone to the other team. But <laughs> no, 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 I don't. <laughs> I don't consider those successful. So, no. Uh, I mean, Judson did really well with them. Yep. So, I guess it was a success for somebody. Yep. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'd say right now, at this point in the game, you would abandon that entirely. Yep. Uh, because, once again – the definition of insanity. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. Yep. So change it up. Another quarterback keeper. Yep. Ow! Oh, behind the line. That looked like a helmet right to the yep. hip. Like, I got a Charlie Horse in sympathy with that. <laughs> now you got a third and 11 here. Clock's rolling. Yeah, 536 left in the quarter. I'm surprised they haven't tried to get, you know, Smith and Rock Wolf are pretty, pretty quick, fast guys. Right. Why not try to hit something deep with them running down the field? And there's the slants again. And gets bobbled. Duvall down in the backfield. Yep. Maybe uh, put it in the hands of Duvall and try to shove him through. <laughs> I don't know. Put stack stack uh, Hickle behind yep. Duvall. Have Duvall <laughs> making a hole and then the whole line shoving behind them. I, you know, I don't know. Um, which that was a play we saw a lot in the wing T. Yep. Um, Casting the punt. See some good, uh, not good even punts. Gonna, not even going to break the 50 on that. Nope. But it looked like when it bounced, it was going to take a cast and bounce, and then Smith plucked it out of the air. <laughs> Maybe he should have let it roll a little bit. I just feel like for comets, for the comets spirits, they need to not end a night on a goose egg. Yeah, uh, that's yep. just. And you put up 31 last week, um, and a and a home opener. I'm sure you felt really good about. You said Caston looked really good in the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. You know, West Central's in their you know ballpark. So you put up quite a bit of points, and you you know you look good doing it. And then you come out here and you play a a stout, big physical run-oriented, experienced Judson team, and it's, you know, it's shown a little bit right. what the difference is. Um, but it would go a long way, maybe, you know, six points, however you get it. Right. However you can get it. Well, and the going back, I'm not sure what the kicking situation is, mm -hmm. but maybe too late now, but maybe uh, when we were down there at the 20, Try to put yeah, yeah, try to put three on the board there. Yeah. I, I don't know. Of course, hindsight's always twenty twenty, yep. and it's always a lot easier to run the game from up here. Yep, <laughs> yep, that's for sure. You know, um, third down for Judson. <clears throat> Comets defense looking good on yep. this run. My guess is here you're going to see the option again. That's been their go-to play. And it's <laughs> been a big move for them. Yeah, I remember once I was. Well, we got a new quarterback in here, number 11. 11, that's Aldrich Harper, freshman. Yep, running the toss. And mm, 
Oh, there you go. Is that Smith and uh, Webb? 21, yeah. Kind of surprised he didn't throw a flag on Webb. He was skiing oh, off yeah, of his. <laughs> Fourth down. So Clock's this running. So at this point, uh, the Blue Jays are kind of using this as live practice. Yep, yep. And you know, hey, for this, uh, for that freshman they've got out there, this good practice. Yep. Number you know, 11, Aldrich, Aldrich Harper. Harper. Freshman quarterback. You know, and let's face it, he's got to take the reins next yep, year. Yep. This is a good time to get him on field experience. Yep. There's toss play again. Oh, he's muscling his way for quite a bit. Didn't quite get it though. First first and ten comets. On their own thirty-eight. Yep. Is that what it is? About the <coughs> Yep, about the 38. So now you're starting. You just got to stop. Starting off not too bad. You know, decent field position. I would like to see if uh, Coach Slocum dials up some quarter design quarterback runs. Get Landon out on the edge. Hand it off to Smith. Yep. Smith can go up the middle. Hard fought three there on that, I think. Yep. I'm just kind of scanning down through it. It looks like Blue Jays are putting a lot of young blood out on the field. Good. And uh, we are in the last 30 seconds of the third quarter here. Um, well, that running clock makes a big difference, yep. doesn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Which that's not the situation we want to be in, but. <laughs> right. It looks like Kasson's just going to let the quarter wind down here. I don't know if that's a uh, move I'd have made. I think there was time to get one more mm -hmm. play out there. but. So there's the end of the third. Score now. Blue Jays 46, Comet 0. Mm. 12 more minutes left to play. Yeah, I don't know. You just I, I don't know. I, I, again, it's easier to do from up here. Yeah. I think I would have tried to get one, one more, more play. one more snap. I just. So you're gonna start start this last quarter, fourth quarter here with a second and eight. But I'm like you. I I want to see less of those short underneath routes. Judge has been jumping them all night. They've taken a couple the other way. Um, the flip side to that is, though, with the younger, with these freshmen and yep. sophomores, again, there's some juniors out there. Yep. But this is a lot of freshmen and sophomore players out here now. Maybe we go back to that. Yeah. Yep. Because then it's not the same thing. Yeah. Uh, we've got to change. The risk is that those senior or that those older players have said, now you see what they've been running. Yep. You've watched how we handle this. Yep. You know how to handle yep. it. Yep. Well, if I if I was in Coach Slocum's shoes, I wouldn't want to um, reveal too much of my playbook for next week. You don't right. know what Triton's doing. You don't know how they're doing right now. Um, you don't want to show off all your counter plays that you haven't run yet. You you know they've stuck pretty decently to the you know a dive read. Mm -hmm. um, they ran a speed option. They're obviously hitting the underneath routes. They've shown some bubble plays, um, but you're not showing a lot of the, you know, last week I saw jet sweeps and then counters, and, you know, you haven't shown that this week, so might be something you hide up your sleeve going into next week at this point in this game. Absolutely. And that's the double-edged sword of yeah. this ultra-local coverage that RTC4 is, is, <laughs> is offering is because, I mean, yeah, film's always been something you can get a yep. hold of, but now it's just so much easier to yep. get to. There's that deep ball, and Hunter's... Uh, Hunter, oh, uh, no. Hmm. Little bit too much interference there by Cheyenne Allen. And uh, I would have liked, again, Landon's young. He put the ball in the air, but you need to put it over the defender to Hunter's sideline side of his body so right. he can turn the defenders behind him at his back. Right. 
so that you have the opportunity to complete that pass. Yep. Even if you're tackled, you've got those yep. yards. Yep. But I'm sure the thought is he's 6'5", you know, your defender's 5-something. Right. So why not just throw it up and see what happens? And you've got that height advantage yep. in the center of the field. Yep. And that might be throwing off his uh, pass read, too. Yep, could be. I'm almost wondering if these quick hitting passes are sort of hurting Kasson's offense tonight um, because Judson's jumping on those routes, jumping on those routes. You need to have something that complements those quick routes with a second move where, you know, we just saw Landon try to throw it out to the flats. Maybe you fake it to the flats and then the receiver cuts up field as the defender's coming up and then he blows the coverage. Well, and but the the corollary to that is you've got to have some time in the pocket. Yep. And Landon's not had as much time in the pocket tonight, oh, I man. don't think, as what he would have liked. Right. Number 40 here with some good moves. Couple of missed tackles there. Shane Lobb finally put yeah. number 40 down. Did you see him catch that punt out of the air? I that did. Was, that was, well, that's that this freshman, Cheyenne Allen. Yeah, he's the, the, yeah, the kicker. That's the one who uh, put, that, put that pass pressure on yep. Shane Lobb. So we got what? Under 10 minutes left in the game. Yep. Still 46 nothing. Well, now if you're these young Judson players, you're looking to show that uh, you belong here on Friday nights. Um, you're having a live practice against someone that doesn't know your playbook. They're not the bigger guys, the older guys on the team that are just beating up on you all day. Right. So you you have something to show here. So I, in my mind, the game's not over with. And there was that option play. Yeah, the younger guys don't run it quite as well nope, as the experienced nope. guys. <laughs> Number 11 needs to uh, keep practicing the what we were yeah. talking about. Your, yep, running uh, that up. You know. The one one play we saw it was quarterback and the running back were running right along for four or five yards. Yeah, before I, they <laughs> I couldn't believe that. That was right down here in front of the press box. I had a good view on that. We've seen uh, the toss out of them a couple times in their last series, so I would expect another toss, toss or option play here, maybe a trap. And there's the trap. That's swallowed up by Shane Lobb. And 64, who got in 64? Garrison Hickel. Oh. I see Kasson's getting some rotation in there on the defensive front. And the young Blue Jays here on the line, in the eye, tight end left. He's dropping back to pass. Oh, and he's eating alive. Wow. Who's that? 67. Uh, it's I always want to say Hickle. Rockwolf, and that's, yeah, Grant Hickle. The other Hickle. He went unblocked there. <clears throat> Makes me wonder if it was a blown assignment or... Or if he's just, I mean, Grant's, all three of the Hickles are big guys. Yeah. And... I'm not confident that I could go nose to nose with them on the line and, and stop <laughs> any one of the three uh, without doing something very, very <laughs> illegal on the football field. <laughs> and a punt here by Judson, first punt of the night for them. Rack up some uh, unsportsmanlike or some uh, <laughs> unnecessary. Ooh, that's Smith there. That's that's probably how many punt returns has he seen this season? Just a couple, right? Yeah. Last week was pretty high score, and you're more. Getting touchdowns in the yard, punting it. <laughs> so now that you're rotating in younger guys on defense here for Judson, it kind of makes me wonder what uh, Kasson's offense is going to do, you know, having. Maybe, maybe go back to that slant route, yep, like I said. Yep. Uh, maybe, maybe try to send your wide receiver deep yep. and see if he can outrun these younger guys. Yep. I'd like to think Rock Wolf and Sam <coughs> Smith could. But we don't know what's in the playbook for Kasten. Almost another interception there. 
Did he bounce that off number 34's helmet? I see a helmet adjustment going on. Here we got a second and ten. Clock's still rolling. Just over six minutes left in the game. Comments on their own. Was that 31? 30? Looks about it. You know, we're this far into the game, and I just now realized that the scoreboard does not have a ball position marker. Oh, and a fumble by Smith. That's... And we've been talking him up all day, and he really hasn't made any mistakes until late. You know, and he's had a couple of fumbles this season. Mm -hmm. um, he, had, he had quite a few last season as a freshman. Um, a lot of it, it's what it's looked like. And again, it's easier from up here where mm -hmm. we are. It looks like he's just got a single arm carry on that ball, yep. and then when he gets tackled, it gets pop Probably free. Pops right out. He doesn't have that good cradle on yep. it. Twins right, tight end left for Judson. Option. That didn't go well for no. him. Under five minutes here left to play. And the score is at 46. Comet's nothing. nothing. <laughs> Well, from our from our angle here, we can't see the scoreboard, so we have to look at the laptop monitor. And I guess my eyesight ain't what it used to be. Tight end right for Judson. I formation. Looks like a counter play. Caston figured that one out. Tackle there by Hickle. Now I see number nine, Tim Lee. You see he's uh, one of the transfers here for Caston. He's, he he's He's had his nose around the play a couple times. He just seems to have some natural uh, instinct here. Yeah, like I said, oh, it seems like a lot of good athletic yep. talent that's come in. Uh, just is really exciting. It's, it's, yeah. You know, this is my... I'm working on my fifth year with the corporation as in the technology department and, and seeing these yeah. fresh faces come in yep. on the junior senior high side. It's it's refreshing. Yep. It really is. Oh, this play's eating up. Oh. oh. Hickle. <laughs> well, it must be refreshing for the whole program after what they endured last season. You went from some days having 14, some days at practice, so you had 10. Right. And now, you you know, you're not, obviously with the injuries, but you're going into this season not, you know, sweating bullets, wondering when's the program going to be cut, when are we going to have to right. forfeit a game. When right. And that was something that uh, after the scrimmage, I wasn't able to get a video interview, but I had an audio interview with Coach Slocum, and he said just being able to run a full scrimmage at practice yeah. has yeah. made a huge difference. Yep. And Comets jump here. Well, that's probably been the first time today they've uh, changed up the cadence. He gets Casson to jump. Yeah, they faked the whole line out there. <laughs> so now you're in a fourth and two, a long two, if you're for Judson here. Um, Just over two minutes left. Yep. I'm probably looking at the option play again. And it's worked for the varsity, and right. I mean, you've you might as well get them practicing yeah. it. Yep. It's <laughs> if that's what they're going to be running every other play in the next two, three years, you might as well. Well, and and here's the thing: is that once again, the second man, you know, or yeah, well, Hamptons is senior. Never mind. Yep. Well, it, it, second man in that has been Emmanuel Barnes. Yep. So there's a power play. Oh, well, and I don't know. I don't think he fell far enough for that first down. I'm not sure it's... Nope. You called it. 139 left here. 
And I wonder if at this point, if you're casting, you just take some knees to get out of here. Are you going to run a couple dive plays? I mean, you know, here's the thing, though. Taking a knee doesn't make that huge of a difference on yeah. a run clock. Yeah. Do you push hard and try to not end on a goose egg? I don't know. It's a tough night here yeah. for the Comets. Yep. Um, so we got the middle of the field wide open here for those quick underneath routes. And we're going to go long. Hmm. Look like uh, number eight there was open up the seam. Number eight not being on the roster here. Oh, yeah, we talked about that earlier. <laughs> You know, if it was a basketball game, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we see their faces. Right. <laughs> it's the dude with the red lines across his face. Oh, wait, that's his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and a bubble. That was uh, a bad read there by, was that number, was it number 40? Yeah, Cheyenne Allen of the Blue Jays. Yep. Just watch that pass completion yep. right in front of him and let Shane Lobb go. Yep. Then again, eight seconds left on the clock. Yep. Does it matter? Man. No. <laughs> so we had a strong showing tonight from Judson who last week had a tough test against Culver. Had to come back last week and win and today they uh, they show that they are a little bit tougher than what the score of last week indicates. Absolutely. And you know, the comments, they had a couple of good series in there. Yep, yep. Uh, especially early on, we had that huge uh, pass completion to Shane Long. Yep, the one-handed catch. We had uh, a couple over, you know, the short routes over the middle to Smith and Hickel. Right, and until, honestly, until Judson got that solid read on those yep. short slant routes, yep. that was a good play. And uh, I think a big part of the problem was going with something too many times after yep. it had been read off. Yep. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Once again, it, it's a lot easier from up here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not down there having nearly a 1,000 pounds of linemen, <laughs> linemen coming at us. Um, so I'm not sure. And, and there was a couple of series of the defense. I, the, the defense forced this Judson offense to drive. And, to, to need yeah. half of a quarter to, yeah. to make a score. Yep. I mean, there were, there were definitely some high points. Yep in tonight but it's never easy yeah. to walk away with the yeah. loss um, and again especially with the energy that the the energy that the Comets had coming into the season I, I see though looking out at the guys heading off the field yep. heading into the locker room I don't see a lot of hanging heads yep. uh, so that's good that's good because again that'll that will be the end of a program yep. for a season yep. is when the guys start checking out. Yep. Um, so, and uh, <laughs> yeah, next week Caston will be up at Triton in Bourbon. Of course, last season Triton, uh, in my mind, surprised a lot of people. They ended up beating Knox late. They uh, won sectional. They they uh, hosted Pioneer in regionals last year. So um, they've got some younger guys that had a longer season than a lot of teams had last year. So. Uh, I heard, you know, they've lost, what, 11 seniors, I thought? Is I that, think so. There yeah. were, there's been a couple of teams yeah. close to us, that relatively close to us in yeah. that we play, who lost a, a dozen a bit, yeah. or so. Um, matter of fact, I think I, think I heard the uh, West Central coaching staff last week after the game say that they had lost mm. a dozen. I, I think about nine so, at least. Yeah, so, uh, so we're going to have to see how next week goes. Yep. Uh, I think I saw Coach Slocum making his way up here to the press box. Yep. We'll have a, a post-game interview with him and uh, see how he felt. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure that with the size disparity of the schools, maybe tonight was meant to be a hard practice for the comments. Yep. I don't know. Yep. So we'll we'll get his take on this here in just a couple moments. Yep. And uh, anyway, uh, comments fans, next Tuesday we will have uh, comments volleyball at home. Uh, we might even have Alex commentating yeah, that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I sign up for North Miami. And, okay. Uh, oh, who are they playing? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and then we'll have uh, we'll have some Comets soccer next Thursday. Okay. And then, of course, Comets football again yep. at Triton next week. And it's an exciting time to be a Comets fan. Say it was a sad night tonight, though. Yep. yep. 
<laughs> well, they kept fighting, and they stayed in it. And they, uh, of course, at the end of every cast and football game, you get to shake their hands and, you know, see that they're still maturing and growing. And over the course of the season, well, see how they end up. Absolutely. Well, hey, we've got Coach Slocum here, so we'll have Alex hand over a headset here for a second. Well, Coach, thanks for coming up. Uh, tough night to be a Comets fan, but it's a uh, North Judson's a big team, so you know, obviously, it's it's never easy to walk off of the field and come up and talk to us after a loss. But what what are we gonna use from this? What are we gonna use in practice? And and what building blocks do we hope to get out of this? Well, this this is one of those games where you just throw the film away. I mean, <laughs> Unfortunately, they just out physical to us from the uh, beginning of the game to the end. Uh, having young players like we do, some you're going to have nights like this, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, learning the new offense, it's, uh, the speed of the game was a little too fast for our freshman quarterback today. Uh, we just didn't execute. So to turn the ball over as many times as we did, it puts our defense in a tough spot. And... Uh, we just didn't come out with the same intensity this week as we did last week. So uh, that's my job as a head coach to get them ready, and uh, we'll do our best next week, see how we come out. What was there – do you think mentally for our comments the, the size disparity of the schools kind of had them half checked out by the, when they even stepped off the bus? I, nah, you, I just no? think that's an excuse. We They put 11 people on the field, and so do we. Okay. Well. Uh, when they run right up the middle – uh, play after play, even though we knew uh, basically that's what they do and we don't uh, make the right play. That, that's us issue. That has nothing to do with size of the school. Uh, our pass blocking uh, and run blocking uh, was not up to par today. We, we got out physical, and that's just us not executing. And uh, me as the head coach and then the assistant coach, it's our job to make sure these kids are uh, ready every week. Unfortunately, uh, we weren't this week, and uh, Judson was a better team. Well, and you, you talk about the physical there, and well, Alex I, and I have talked about a few times, we lost a very physical player when Aiden tore his ACL. You think What kind of difference do you think Aiden might have made on that line tonight? Yeah, I mean, that was tough because, like, like I uh, told a newspaper earlier in the week, when you lose a player here at Caston, that's two players. Uh, he's one of the strongest kids on the team uh, and one of our best interior linemen, and they, they exploited that. Uh, right before uh, we traveled over here today, we found out his replacement, uh, Kane Shane Lobb, uh, broke his arm today at school or had a hairline fracture. Yep. We uh, so now we're going to uh, another freshman uh, and who I'll have to look at the tape, see how he played. But, again, now we're out of defensive linemen. We're not here to make excuses. They When they run right down the middle like they did and when our quarterback's getting hit, uh, you know, we just didn't didn't get things done today. So... Uh, we're going to have to change some things up because uh, we still got a lot of football left. Absolutely. Well, hey, Coach, thanks for coming up. Uh, it's always good to watch the guys play. Well, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how things look next week at Triton. All right. Thanks for covering the comments. What's up, man? How you doing? should have did last week's game. <laughs> yeah, that would have been – Well, guys, that was uh, Comets head coach Tony Slocum. Obviously, difficult, difficult interview to have. It's uh, none of us like <laughs> none yep. of us like yep. the loss. So, so anyway, well, thanks for joining us tonight. Once again, uh, Comets fall forty nothing. Yeah, forty six nothing. I lost count because the scoreboard's uh, changed yeah, now. They changed it. It's forty. Uh, I thought I it was forty six. I think it's forty six nothing tonight. Yep. And uh, so John Harrell stats off and not in a way beneficial to the comments. Yep. Uh, once again, we thank the guys and gals who put together resources like that that we're able to use. And uh, we thank you for tuning in tonight. Yep. Yep. Uh, so join us next time. Till then, I'm Blair Zimmerman. And this is Alex Korn. And uh, this is Comets TV on RTC TV4.